Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so that you know every single time that I post a new reading. If you are interested in your uh, Virgo reading, then be sure to look in the about section. All right. So I don't know if somebody's going to get a surprise bill or what seems to be the surprise is the amount, but that's what I was picking up on. Okay. This could be a phone bill, a light bill or something like that. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but somebody's going to blow their, their gasket, flip their lid. Okay. That's what I'm picking up here. Let's tap into the reading real quick. Hope you guys are having a safe and productive day. And I am asking that for anybody that supports me and watches the readings, please take time out of your, your day to like the video and subscribe and also share. All of those three things are free to do unless you want a membership. All right. Memberships are for those who want in-depth messages or readings. If you guys are interested in these memberships, then be sure to click the join button. Okay, so we have the five of swords. You're dealing with an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody has a issue with communication. Somebody feels like they can't compete with you. There could have been a back and forth match. As you can see, those arrows are on the floor. It looks like somebody here is defeated, but um, hasn't give, given up on communication or connection with you or you with them. I do feel like somebody is trying to leave their low vibrational self behind okay somebody wants a different perspective okay this could be somebody that gave up altogether but this person in the forefront is still willing to try okay typically the five of swords in the upright talks about um someone that is having difficulty um, addressing something or whatever this is. We have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Okay, so this could be about a mother figure or somebody older, more experienced, may have children. Okay, somebody thinks that um, you are very mature, but when it comes to um, talking to them, it kind of seems very complicated. You kind of turn away from them. Do you see how this woman is turning away from this masculine? And they're like, hey, I want to talk to you. Or somebody wishes it was easier to display what they want to communicate. Okay. I do see that somebody, <clears throat> somebody here could have uh, spoke on something harshly or may have interacted um, through communication in a harsh way. And they think that walking away from the situation is the best solution. And in most cases it is. However, um, when it comes to something, I feel like this masculine just wants to get it out. Somebody's in huge regret over a, something or, or whatever this was that may have happened in the recent past, but I feel like somebody's ready to let it go here. Somebody here could be manipulative, okay? I'm hearing something about a breakdown. I don't know if somebody's trying to explain something to you, but there's definitely a breakdown of some sort. What's this Five of Swords for Virgo? We have justice, okay? Something's going to be broken down to where things are um, honest, the laws are being followed or the rules that apply that brings justice will come through with honesty. Okay. Some sort of cause and effect. 
Okay, there could be a Libra that's significant or somebody that has that placement. Whoever this female energy is, she could feel like she's unattractive, doesn't have the capability to be fertile with ideas, her womb, or something like that. She feels doubt within herself and is lacking some type of awareness to learn lessons, but feels like she should gain or, or earn something. I'm hearing something about multiply. Something is going to multiply. She, she wants all of something, all of creative passion, all of in her, her, like initiative from a person, all of someone's energy. I feel like somebody wants to refresh and start over or have some type of new beginning after a heartbreak betrayal from a Capricorn. Okay, somebody may have cleared out a person's account. Somebody could be angry or codependent on an individual that did this. All right. I'm hearing something about subtleness, soul tree, S-O-U-L-T-R-Y. That's what I heard, soul tree. Message for Virgo, please. Somebody's stuck in this heartache and loss, okay, of a person that may have lied, manipulated, broke their heart. Okay, this has something to do with finances, career, um, partnership, money, money that was lent or given or whatever this was. Okay, I'm hearing something about sneak dissing. I'm seeing the numbers three, five, two. Somebody could be born on the third, the second or the fifth, the 25th. Um, somebody could be either 25 or 35. Somebody did not do right by you giving them the support or you gaining the support from somebody when it comes to um, money, career, or something like that. But I do see that you have an internal energy of your light source, okay? I heard retract. Somebody could be retracting from love or somebody that didn't love them. Okay, we have destinies. There is a faded um, situation that could bring you this positive movement forward here. Somebody needs to uh, take back their power. That's what I'm picking up. Taking back your power. Let's expose the haters before we dive into this message for you, Virgo. Expose the haters that may be in the background. What are they up to? Okay, somebody needs to possess a black obsidian. Yeah, because this black obsidian carries a calming, positive energy that can help you remember to look on the bright side of things. So somebody was trying to keep you in a low vibrational state or energy. If you are a feminine or you embody feminine energy. Yeah, somebody's secretly jealous and hates on your romantic uh, connections or the potential of them. So pre-charge your energy here. Distance yourself, take a break, vacation, pamper, indulge, do the things that makes you happy. Dark entities could be using people to work against you. So they have dark attachments that are using them to spew hate and envy. message for Virgo, we have dark woman. So I'm not really sure who the dark woman is, whether this is you or the person that is external to you, but you're dealing with somebody that is a feminine energy or is an actual feminine. Okay. We have dragon. So beware of self delusion here. 
you may be thinking something so much that you actually feel like this is true. This is real life or whatever this is. You feel like somebody could be able to like, um, destroy or like bully you. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay. Once you do that, you, you bring happiness into your life. Let's see. What is this dark woman about? Tell me more about this dark woman, whether this is you or your person. We have Valley. This could be somebody's, um, like a feminine influence, somebody's mother, sister, um, stranger, neighbor, whoever. There's some type of deep personal strength with this Valley and peace that assures success. So I feel like the more that you work on something, and you continue to push through, you will persevere and gain success. There will be a change. So this is like a personal upgrade for some of you. That's what I feel. There could be upgrades that are happening for you. I feel like you could be waiting on something. Somebody could be waiting on you to initiate something so that they can bring contact for sexual matters. Okay, somebody could be concerned with too much sexual matters or somebody is um, waiting for a person to come in with some sort of like sexual initiation. Somebody may, may be a call girl or guy, take it as it resonates. This could be a uh, Aquarius here. Let's see. Tell me more for Virgo. All right. So we do have choose a new direction at the bottom of the deck. Be spontaneous. So you might need to choose different options or uh, an option that's outside of what you would normally go with. Okay, go to where your love life could be influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So you guys may have the same spiritual values, beliefs, or whatever this is. Okay. So the cards that popped out here was listen to your intuition and don't stop. Don't stop listening to your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, go with that. Go with your third eye and what it's telling you. Okay, I'm hearing something about dark secrets. Okay, there is a need to refocus, new path, obsession, losing sight of the, the bigger picture. Somebody needs to refocus here. You could be seeing the number 666 a lot. Yeah, somebody here does not want to let you go. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to let you go because you seem to be an asset or you have something that a person may be able to use financially. All right. Anyway, I'm hearing about some type of encounter, whether you be talking to someone, hugging someone, arguing with someone. I feel like this is not nourishing to you, your personal or or um, the things that you are planning for the future, something is not nourishing. It's like you're depleted from something because of some type of conflict, okay? And you are imagining or envisioning yourself in a, in a different place where you're happy, you are financially stable, and you have everything that you need. I don't know why I'm picking up John Travolta, but I just picked his energy up. What's the message? There's something about um, a library and um, somebody's wardrobe. Something could be significant to what somebody's wearing. As they go out, 
overall here, I feel like whatever this energy was that was attached to you, that made you feel like you were drowning, you now have another chance to get something in order because of your hope, your prayers, your wishes, or somebody praying for you. We have apology and nurturing, like nourish and nurturing go hand in hand. It's kind of the same thing, but not so much. I feel like somebody here does not want you to have a positive effect where you're learning to gain knowledge and possibly pass that knowledge on to someone else. Okay, somebody doesn't want you to know all of the facts, but um, is nonchalant with this arrogant, rash, insincere apology. Somebody is not really trying to apologize. They just trying to like be able to have some level of attachments to you. Somebody doesn't feel sorry or, or um, somebody has too much pride to say that they they're wrong. Message of Virgo. Okay, so the card that's popping up is mother. So there is a woman that may be fertile at this time, could be pregnant or just had a child. I feel like you have such a nurturing spirit or energy and there is so much of that that you want to give to others or um, a, a younger child or you bearing a child here. Somebody could be trying to sabotage your womb or take chances um, to doubt you or for others to doubt you here. I'm hearing something about credit. Somebody could be trying to figure out what they can receive. depending on what their credit looks like. I'm telling you, somebody could be um, an operations manager or something like that, okay, for a real estate company or somebody could be an investor. Somebody here may be searching for a person that will invest in some type of business. Somebody starting from scratch. Somebody could be working on a project to create wealth all around. These are just the downloads that I'm picking up. Somebody's name is Bernice. Okay. Somebody could be going back to school or you could have not known something that a person mentioned and you're like, damn, if I had only knew. Okay. I just didn't know. It wasn't evident or clear to me. I was too stubborn to see something. Calm came out. So you have a calming spirit, nature, or energy. I feel like you try to strive for the simple things or live a simple life, not make things too complicated. I feel like you're not the type of person to reserve anything. You feel like what's for you will come to you. And that allows you to be your most authentic self here. I'm hearing something about the kid. I don't know if this is who a person refers to themselves as, but this child could have a promise that was made to them. And this child is waiting for a follow through. So somebody needs to say what they mean, mean what they say. The number 14 could be significant. Okay, so somebody here could be misguided, lost, or um, can't seem to figure something out. Somebody here has been at something for the last few weeks or could be planning something within the next few weeks when it comes to um, holding off on some type of action. Why? Why is somebody holding off? on some type of action because of a person's finances. So there's going to be some sort of growth period in somebody's finances. You're going to be approved for something where you won't have to hold back or ask how much something costs. You're going to have what you need to buy what you need. Okay. 
So when you start holding, when you start holding back is the time that you need to focus on the things that you want to invest in. Okay. What's the message? What is it that we need to know currently at this time? All right, so we do have heartbroken, the golden mirror, and the sword and rose. At the bottom of the deck, we have self-indulgence, and we have girl with a snake. So some right now, somebody could be working on themselves or needs to do this to, you know, heal, you know, bring the shadow work that's required of them. Somebody here could be in competition to get to that stage where somebody could self-love to heal and walk off of this um, toxic lifestyle. When it comes to dating, somebody could be dating to marry. Okay. There's something that someone is codependent to. This could be a person, substance, or a person that may be a part of a, um, I don't know, I heard adult life, but I was going to say like an abusive relationship or connection to someone that may be dominant over you. Somebody is not allowing their heart to break where they completely shatter and fall apart. They're recognizing this self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided connection. And they, they want to speak their truth on how they feel or from what angle they see some things. Okay, clarifying truth and clarity. You're walking away from someone. Somebody here knows about a relationship that a person is trying to walk away from, a karmic relationship. This could be someone that is married to a karmic that wants to walk away completely from a relationship and get their ring back. Okay. I'm hearing something about a Paul bearer or something like that. I'm hearing Rick Ross's voice. So somebody could be in the studio. Or maybe somebody's playing um, a song that Rick Ross is featured on. Somebody could be on an island or maybe creating some type of stability, structure, solidarity for themselves. Somebody could be very happy in this moment. Beware of somebody that could be trying to sabotage or break your heart or throw you off with some sort of like um, shocking attack. Okay, somebody's no longer thinking about the past. Somebody does not want to rewrite history with an individual. There's some there's a reason why. There's some sort of caution that you need to have or be prepared for. Okay, do not marry this person or somebody is not your sacred partner. This person really don't have those type of feelings that you are looking for from this person. Okay, but you because you have so much unconditional love, somebody just looking for a hookup, man. I'm telling you. Somebody is looking for the hookup because you got that good, good, whether you're masculine or feminine here. Love is about to begin, just not with the person that you think. Let's see here. Somebody just wants to feed off of your energy because of how fertile and creative you are. And how interesting or mystical you may you may become. Yeah, somebody could be coming towards you to contact you with some type of drama. Or somebody could be uh, calling you to tell you about a extreme harsh cutoff that somebody made with a person because of somebody risking it all or not, you know, being considerate, considerate with their actions. Somebody doesn't feel like they're gaining anything from a person. Somebody's in huge regret in this, this proposal that they took just to have a karmic relationship. Somebody wishes that they had held back. And now they feel like they're anchored into this person 
that they want to release. But somebody here feels like they're dealing with a witch, a shapeshifter, or, or something like that. Somebody was told not to reconcile with you and to go in another direction. For some of you, this could be um, your person's family members, friends, okay? Somebody here sabotaged a connection for this person and for you just so that everything could take place that's happening right now, okay? So somebody has a lot of karmic family members, a lot of karmic friends that really don't have you guys' interest at heart. Don't want to see you two together because it would be a huge celebration. <clears throat> Somebody wants to come towards you, but they're holding off, okay? They're trying to figure out how to anchor themselves to do something. Yeah. They want their self-worth to be included so that they can use their intuitive energy to come together. All right. Let's see here. Somebody was paid to keep quiet or was given something, okay? Somebody was paid to keep quiet about a person being um, taken advantage of. We have not reaching out or ignoring. Somebody is not reaching out to a person. Somebody's car may be um, in the shop, but ready for pickup. Whoever this person is, you're an introvert. Something could be happening less than four weeks from now or four weeks ago. Somebody could talk a lot and not, not act. Okay, we have medical testing, dreams in reverse. Somebody here could be having a nightmare that they're being um, experimented on. Okay, bill collectors, I'm telling you, I said this earlier because I had that type of dream. We have dancer. So somebody here could be a um, in a group or they could be an adult entertainer. Okay. Somebody here is willing to sleep with a person just to get out of the drug game. Okay, somebody is no longer broke. I feel like you could be sobering up before you drive. Somebody is trying not to take a, a um, some type of payment or shipment for them to leave a, re a relationship. We have projecting. Somebody could be projecting their insecurities or whatever they feel onto you so that you could live out what they're going through. Okay, it looks like the goons are not coming to your hood because you found a way to pay off this debt. That's crazy. What's the message here? I heard clearly non-traditional older versus younger relationship. Somebody here, their last name could start with the letter W or this could be somebody's first name. Somebody's not willing to snitch on an individual over a relationship that may not be traditional to others. Somebody's not going through with a bank scheme or something failed while a person attempted to go through some type of um, fraudulent uh, banking scheme, okay? Somebody here still needs to work on regaining their self-worth or confidence, okay? Somebody could be vulnerable or feel like they're gonna use their vulnerability to protect themselves, okay? This could be a sociopath. A sociopath may try to leak a sex tape, okay, to expose somebody that may have given them something or what somebody has. We have bail bonds or bailiff. Somebody here could be getting um, released from prison or somebody's trying to get out of a, a situation here. All right. Anyway, 
Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.